everyone welcome back so next we'll see module 3 working with windows powershell pipeline so in this module um, there will be uh, five lessons and uh, also we'll have a lab session for the respective lessons so in the module overview so basically windows powershell is not the first command line shell you know to support the concept of uh, pipeline because uh, the command prompt in the windows operating system itself uh, that support the uh, pipeline however the uh, windows powershell pipeline is more complex more flexible and more capable of uh, the older shells next up uh, lesson one understanding the pipeline so in this lesson uh, we will learn about uh, what is a powershell pipeline and some basic techniques for uh, running multiple commands in it so running commands individually is both uh, difficult and uh, it will be uh, inefficient as well so uh, to be success in the powershell administration it is uh, very fundamental you know to um, understand how the pipeline works so these uh, these are the objectives um, will be covered uh, in this lesson so the first uh, what is the pipeline so windows powershell runs commands in a pipeline each console command line is a pipeline so basically uh, the commands that we run in the uh, console the powershell console that is called a pipeline as well and uh, each commands separated by a pipe character so this is the um the pipe character that would be you know separated uh, by each commands so the commands will be executed from left to the right and uh, output of each command is piped meaning it will be passed to the next command so we can use multiple pipe character as well so the output of last command in the pipeline is what will be appear on your screen and uh, basically the pipe command typically follow the you know uh, this pattern like uh, get pipe and set similarly get pipe where or select set so for example um, we can use get to get the uh, vm name and uh, we can use the set to change the uh, host name of that particular vm basically a pipeline is a chain of one or more commands in which um, the output from one command will be passed as an input to the next command even a single command that's run in a pipeline so there is a note here um, so the var command is an alias for var dash object and uh, similarly select command is an alias for select dash object so meaning we can uh, use select dash object or var dash object instead of uh, we can also use just var command and the select command because these were the alias so we'll be seeing um, more detail in the lesson three so next pipeline output so um, what pipeline output means um, windows powershell commands produce object as their output so windows powershell commands do not generate text as their output instead they generate object so um, each command uh, meaning each powershell command that we ran so that produce uh, output right so that is uh, we call as an object so um, an object is like a table of data in memory let's say we can imagine a command output 
as a, you know database table or spreadsheet so in partial terminology the uh, table or spreadsheet uh, so it consists of a collection of object or just a collection in short so a meaning each row is a single object and uh, each column is a property of that object so if you look at this table we see um win rm which is the windows remote management and the status running and the display name so uh, this row in a single object and uh, each column display name status name and these are the properties and all these called collection so uh, here for example when you run the get service command it returns collection of service object so each object has properties that's you know called the name display name status so for example if we run get dash service it returns the collection of objects so all these are uh, called object and each object has a uh, properties so each object has a uh, properties the value would be you no know, status name display name belongs to each object and uh, next discovering object members so object members include properties methods and events and uh, run a command that produce an object and uh, pipe that object to get member to see a list of members so in the previous uh, session we have uh, run the command to get the list of object so we have run get dash service so that would uh, you know display all the um, so basically it produce all the object and uh, with that uh, we can you know use the get dash member to see a list of members so we can run the command uh, get dash service and we can pipe that with the get dash member to get the object members so here we can see the member type event method alias property all these things so get member is a discovery tool similar to help so that can help you to learn you to use the shell so um, if you look at the note here uh, get dash member has an alias gm so we can use a gm or get dash member similarly for um, select and where we have seen previously okay so that's it in this lesson and we'll see the uh, lab session in a separate uh, video